Hello Aquarius, this is going to be a reading for November 16th to November 22nd. Thank you for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. I appreciate it so much. I upload two videos every day at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you subscribe to my channel, if you like the way I read the cards, if you hit the bell icon, then your phone will beep at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, wherever you are. So just be aware of that. And thank you to all the comments, all the views. I appreciate it. So I'm going to start with the Earth Wisdom deck for you first, Aquarius. The first one for you is Relief 22. So first of all, 22 is a master number, so that's really good. This is showing me that you have a direction to choose. You have directions coming up where you can choose which way forward you want to go in your life. You're going to have like multiple choices. More than one, basically. So the next one is three. This is strength. So this could be Leo. If you have Leo in you. If not, basically it's just strength. So this tells me that you are going the way you're supposed to go. You're following your path. And usually when strength comes, it's because something hard is coming our way. And I do see the mountain in the background in this picture. So I don't know if they're telling you to gather strength, Aquarius, because you're getting ready to go over this mountain over here, which it's not too huge, and there's no snow on it, so that's good. And I, like I said, I see the directions here. You're aligning more with your purpose here, so you're gaining strength for whatever you're getting ready to do. And the next one is divine protection. This is beautiful. So this is pretty much saying that you probably feel faith and you believe that your higher power takes care of you and protects you and watches out for you and that's basically what this says. It also says that the universe is trying to give you signs and clarity Aquarius. And I feel like it has to do around something around your identity is what you're trying to seek clarity on. So kind of you know this one and this one are kind of saying clarity and then strength. So there's something you feel like you are getting ready to do and you need a lot of strength and you're getting the clarity you're figuring out you have choices now it seems like and you're going to move forward so let's start with the mystical cat tarot deck now so the first one for you is four of c so four of c is somebody feeling depressed somebody not being happy this usually can, is temporary, but you have to be careful that it's not, um, doesn't go longer. But you always have to be careful when there's depression, I feel. Be mindful. So this is three of fire. So three of fire to me is you talking to the universe and asking them why things are the way they are. Because you feel really, you, you're confused, but you have clarity here. So if this is you being confused and depressed, the clarity is right here. So the next one is Fire Tom. Fire Tom is somebody who takes chances. This could be a player. Somebody who just does what they want. They don't think about other people. So look at, and then we have Fire Kitten. So this is kind of double confirmation. This is usually the beginning. And so now that I'm looking at this, this makes sense. So this is usually the beginning. and the, or This is the beginning. This is usually when you're into it. So it seems how it seems backwards to me. It seems like somebody might be done being such a player. Somebody might be ready to back off on that. Hermit. This could be Virgo placement. If there's no Virgo placement, then yes, this person is ready to go solo, retreat, and quit doing something they're doing, which tells me being a player. So somebody wants to quit being a player is what it looks like. So, A to C. This is somebody who's very selfish, very materialistic. I feel like somebody has learned that that's how they are and they want to control it. They don't want to be like that anymore. So, Nine of Fire has to do with a couple things. This could be addiction and the columns are holding you up. Either way, the columns are the universe, the divine holding you up. And your crown chakra is open and they're trying to communicate. Whether they're trying to give you codes, I'm not sure guidance, could be a number of things. If it is not um, addiction, like this could be NA or AA meetings, this is usually my addiction card, then this could be your vibration raising spiritually. So the divine just is trying to tell you that they're there with you. 
or like I said, it's addiction. So this is Sea Queen. Sea Queen is somebody who's very grounded, very stable, very secure in their emotions. Sea Kitten. This is so weird how you're getting the, the adult version and then the younger version of kind of what the situation is. Kind of strange to me. Hopefully it makes sense to you Aquarius. So this is somebody stable and grounded. And then this is somebody, um, this could be a child. It's a beginning of something. So I do feel like um, somebody could be just starting out in a relationship, I guess, with a grounded, stable person, and they're moving towards them. Now that you look at it, this person has their back turned, and this person is moving towards them, and this was my addiction card. So I do feel like somebody has to be careful of having a probably a codependency, and they could be moving towards somebody that is stable and grounded and does not want to get into codependent relationship. This could be younger, older, age, version 2. So then you have 7 of C. This is denial. Something right in front of your face that you're ignoring. So 8 of Earth. 8 of Earth is somebody teaching somebody else some skill, some behavior. They teach other people. And you know, I always sometimes feel like because it's at night, this could be somebody who doesn't who teaches people unwillingly, like they have a trait and they don't even realize they teach it to people. And obviously younger people pay attention to whatever this trait is. So Fire Queen would be somebody who's angry to me. Somebody who's very, very beautiful when she walks in a room, everyone notices her. Feel free to vice versa the masculine and feminine. There is no gender usually in the cards, unless you're getting a personal reading. So this would be Grace. This says that you're going through a hard time and you're almost to the end of something. It's been very emotional, but you're about to be done with it and you move on to happiness. The Empress. So the Empress is somebody very nurturing, very motherly, very domesticated. And Sky Kitten. Sky Kitten also to me is immaturity. Could be somebody who, um, yeah, somebody who's very immature. So somebody's being immature to an empress, it looks like. And that is not good off the right there. So I'm going to switch, I think, to the Tarot Illuminati. Well, no, I'll pull this one. So this is Nine of Sky. So this is somebody being really stressed out. So I feel like an angry female or somebody acting immature or annoying to an empress. And look at this, then you have C Tom, or Sky Tom. So this is somebody being nasty to somebody, just hurting them on purpose. So this has caused somebody to go to make a decision. And if you look at the cat, he has his head turned. So you already know what choice you're going to make. You already know. You're thinking about it, but you already know. And hopefully you're moving away from this, because that is unacceptable when people hurt you on purpose. And it's always about them when people hurt you. If people hurt you, they, they don't like themselves. Who would hurt people if they love themselves? Nobody. So just keep that in mind if somebody's hurting you, Aquarius. You have the strength, it says over here. So just keep that in mind. There's somebody better if that's how it works out. Or somebody needs to change and mature or something. So the Tarot Illuminati is Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who feels really secure being single. They're very loving. She's very stable in her coins. And then you have Prince of Wands. So Prince of Wands is a player and I'm really getting that. I'm getting somebody was stable and loving and somebody was a player. In and out. In and out. So then you have Three of Cups. Yes, it was all happy. Happy family and King of Swords. So King of Swords to me is somebody who's very um, guarded. He could want a second chance, but he's almost like not willing to give a lot. It's like you have to make it work. He's willing to do it, but you have to put in all the work. So Four of Pentacles. I feel like you're blocking yourself. You're like, oh, I, I'm good. I'm just going to stay here and hold my heart and my coins close to me. 
So justice, this is good Aquarius. So justice is going to prevail. Somehow something's going to balance out in your favor. So the Empress, you had the Empress twice in here. Aquarius. So if you're not the Empress and you are with an Empress, it's really important you understand if you are with an Empress because you can lose an Empress really easy if you treat her less than so I don't know if some of you have a very nurturing, domesticated energy that wears their heart on their sleeve, has a lot of passion, is very proud, very beautiful when they step out of the house, very kind to animals and children. And you may be, if you're hurting this person, justice will come in. If you hurt an empress, the universe doesn't just let it go. They're just like, oh, oh we set empresses down for people to hurt. That's not how it works. So be mindful of that, of who you hurt. And this may not apply to you, so just put it where it applies. If it doesn't apply, then just leave it. So then Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is somebody feeling really stressed out. Somebody's inside their head. They can't deal with something. So Six of Wands is lower energies trying to hold somebody down, to hurt somebody. So the next one is Ten of Pentacles. This is good. So I feel like you're going to prevail over somebody trying to hurt you or hold you down. And they're going to be sad. Five of Cups. They're going to be very, very sad. They're going to miss you. And sometimes it takes somebody missing you for you for them to realize how they treated you. So look, you have strength again. Twice. You have it twice. That's nice. So you have the strength for whatever's coming. So Eight of Cups, again, is somebody missing you. It went from Five of Cups to Eight of Cups. So now they went from missing you to now they're looking on past memories. They're re going over memories. They're really missing you now. And you're moving forward, I feel. So this is the devil. This could be Capricorn. This could be codependent, um, addiction energy, toxic energy. And you feel like a nine of wands, like you are the warrior. You have to defend yourself against toxic energies. Aquarius. You're doing good. It says you have strength, so that would make sense. You have the strength card twice. So High Priestess is somebody who's very intuitive. Somebody, so pay attention to the signs. When you get signs, they're usually trying to tell you. Because you got that connection is what that High Priestess says. So now let me pull the Soul's Journey lesson cards. The first one is grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So you lost something and you are going through grief. Again, it has to do with your identity, I feel. It's affecting you that much. And this would be your um, sacral chakra. So then the next one you have is envy. I am the same as everybody but with different challenges. Wow Aquarius. So you could have envy or somebody's having envy around you. That That's pretty heavy. Which this was kind of relief from grief, relief from envy, strength from envy, and divine protection. And the next one is guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. So you're leveling up totally. I mean, this is your sacral chakra, your solar plexus chakra, and your sacral chakra, so this may be your root chakra. Um, but you, you're aligning, if you're aligning three of your chakras, you're doing really good. I know you might not understand, but you, it's hard to deal with all that stuff, but you have the strength, and it's going to move you forward. You'll feel so good here in a few weeks, a couple weeks maybe, a few days. Just just have faith. And it says you do. The cards say you do. Hang on. So the or Whispers of the Ocean Oracle deck for you now, Aquarius, is eight, keeping it in check. Pay attention to what is going on. You might be moving into something too quickly and missing some important details. So I do feel like at the surface, something is really shiny at the surface to you. Looking for something around you that makes you feel uncomfortable, that's super shiny. Almost too good to be true. Because when you look at the underneath of it, you're going to be like, what? 
So the next one is 16 Inner Desires. This is beautiful, Aquarius. This is abundance. Set some intentions. You are entering a phase of plenty or may have a sudden windfall. Goals are within your grasp. This is the cowrie shell. This is good luck. This is beautiful. So keeping it in check, watch for the signs and inner desires, abundance. That is so nice. So we always grow the most when we're uncomfortable and have the most um, hardships and the most feelings. So you're just, you're, you're going to go through this and you're going to be happy. Trust me. Whatever you, and I mean abundance, this is beautiful. So the angel and ancestor card that comes up for you, Aquarius, is Druid. Hold the space. So hold the space means when you don't know what to do, you don't do anything at all. Because when you know what to do, it will come to you and you'll just be like, oh my gosh, I know what to do. I'm going to do it. And he has a rabbit's foot there, which is kind of creepy, but that's what it is. And the light and the feathers. So then you have mountains, stand your ground. This this is beautiful because this is what I think of when I see with the strength card and I told you about the mountain back here. So you have confirmation. Oh my gosh, so now I totally get it. So the mountain was not for you to climb, Aquarius. The mountain is telling you that you are grounded into the ground like a mountain. You are so strong, you have two strong strength cards next to you. And you're the mountain. Ground, stand your ground, it's saying. And that you're reaching to Mother Sky, and you're, or Father Sky, and you're in Mother Earth. So that's really, really powerful. Um, you have a lot of strength right now. You really, really do. A lot of strength is what that says. Um, yeah, very nice. All right, so that was your reading. I hope that helps. This was really beautiful. I see some lower energies around you, but you're getting ready to purge them out of your life, it looks like. And you're going to have a really nice life because you're really strong and abundance is coming to you. So thank you so much, Aquarius, for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Um, bless you, Aquarius.